Hello, thank you for joining me here. Uh, what we're going to be going over today is uh, using the Design Center and inserting some dynamic blocks, specifically a door dynamic block. I think once you uh, see a dynamic block and use it a little bit, I think you'll be impressed with it and probably want to use it in your design for uh, next week's assignment. So this is what we do. We need to find uh, the, uh, the Design Center, and it's called the Design Center Palette, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get that. What you want to do is you want to go to the View tab on the ribbon, and it's uh, next to the Properties palette, but what you want to do is go two units over and all the way down to the bottom, down there in the lower left-hand corner of that group of six. And it's called the Design Center. Click that guy. And you might have something that looks like this, or you might have something that's uh, similar to that, but it's kind of like uh, the, the Properties palette. And you want to grab this gray area, and let's dock it right next to the Properties palette. If you need to make room, Go ahead and take that interface between the two and scoot that over. You can probably shrink this down a little bit too if you wanted to. But for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to keep this kind of big and show you around a little bit. So where you want to go is you want to go into the sample folder. A whole bunch of folders here. Go down to the sample folder. You also have a design center here. We're going to visit that here in just a few minutes. But what we really want to do is go into dynamic blocks. Scroll down and go to architectural imperial. Imperial means like the... English system, the Empire, you know, the British Empire, stuff like that. So it's architectural imperial as opposed to the ar architectural metric. So let's go ahead and open up architectural uh, imperial and go to the blocks. And what it does is it gives you a short list of blocks. I think there's, uh, what, two, four, six, eight? Oh, oh, ten. Sorry about that. Just ten blocks. What we want to do is grab the door imperial block. And what you do is you click on it with your left mouse button and drag it over. And there you have it. And what you have is a little bit of symbology that's associated with that block. So when you click in that block, what it does is it gives you some grips. Typically, with the only grips we've seen are like the, the square grips and uh, like the like the short rectangular grips that are associated with polylines. But these grips are a little bit more descriptive. They are stretch grips up to a certain amount. You can stretch your door up, stretch it back down if you like. You can stretch the, width, stretch the width of the door as it sits inside the wall and stretch that back down. And you can flip it. You can flip it back and forth that way. You can flip it left to right that way. What it doesn't have is a rotate uh, a function to it. And we can always add that too. And that's going to be a, a subject of a different film. Uh, another one here is a list. If you pull this down, it gives you a list. You have a door open to 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, all the way open. Sometimes, depending on the architect and depending on the standards of the company, an open door, a fully open door, or a partially open door may mean uh, different things. A partially open door might be an existing door, whereas a fully open door may be a new door, you know, stuff like that. So, that's an introduction to blocks. And just to show you how this works, how blocks work before we leave this film, if we go back to the home tab, we'll go to the rotate command, probably want to take this block and rotate it. There is one uh, grip in here that we're all familiar with, and that is the, the move grip. And, uh, boy, I don't see that here. Yeah, there it is. It's called the position grip, or the alignment grip. Sorry about that. Well, that's what you want to use, you know, to put that on your wall. So we're going to put the door there, perhaps. If we want to flip it so it opens up on the outside, we can do that. Take that align grip and move that over here. Uh, sometimes it's kind of tricky. It goes in uh, a method or a manner that uh, we may not uh, completely desire. Kind of has a mind of its own. Sometimes we're going to flip that over, and that's kind of like not what we want, but that's a little bit more what we want. And we're going to go ahead and stretch this to that wall, and it's not going to let us do it. So we're going to make some modifications to this block, and we're going to do that in the next film. So we will conclude this now, and we will come back to this.